Okay, candy distributor needs to mix a 10% fat content chocolate with a 60% fat content chocolate to create a 200 kilogram, um, or to create 200 kilograms of a 12.5% fat content chocolate. How many kilograms of each kind of chocolate must they use? So I'm going to make a little table. We're going to have four columns, four rows. Bottom one will be total. All right, and then we have our 10% fat chocolate bar and her, our low fat and our high fat, however you want to call them. But these are the two different kinds of chocolate. So we have the, um, the fat content of each kind of chocolate times the amount of that chocolate. So for instance, in the 10% the bar, um, we have a fat content, 10%, so 0 0.10, and the 60% would be 0 0.60. And then the amount of that is how many kilograms of that chocolate, and we don't really know either one, so we'll call one X, one Y, but I know that the total of um, chocolate, amount of chocolate we should have is 200 kilograms when we're done. And then the total uh, fat content at the end is going to be 12.5 or 0 0.125. <clears throat> so if I multiply the fat content by the amount um, that I have, then I can figure out the the uh, the total amount of that 10% chocolate that we have. So we have another total column here. So 0 0.10x, 0 0.60y, and then um, I know that my total amount is 200, so 0 0.25 times 200 is 25. And then these are going to, these two columns, columns, the amount column and this total column, give us our two equations. So we get these two equations, we get x plus y equals 200, and we get 0.10x plus 0.60y equals 25. So we have a two equation, two unknown scenario here. Um, I'm going to use substitution. I'm going to solve for y in the first equation. So y is equal to 200 minus x. And then if I put that in for y in the second equation, I come up with 0.10x plus 0 0.60 times 200 minus x equals 25. Distributing, I get uh, one, let's see, 12, not 120, 0 0.60 times 200 would be 120, um, minus 0 0.60x equals 25, getting kind of low on room there, and then, uh, combining like terms, um, on the left I get point, or negative 0.50x, plus 120 equals 25. Subtract so that 120 on both sides and we get 0.50x is equal to negative 95. And then if we divide both sides by um, negative 0.5, so negative 90 divided by uh, 0.5 gets us 190. X equals 190. Now remember X plus Y equals 200, so y must be 10. And this makes sense because if we start with a 10% fat bar and we're trying to get a 12.5% fat bar, we only need to add a little bit of that high percentage of bar to make it. So we'll melt both of those chocolates down the 190 kilograms of the 10%, the 10 kilograms of the 90, or the 60%, and then once they're all melted together and mixed up, we'll have a 12.5% fat bar.